Mm. Greetings, my fellow YouTubians. It is I, Mr. Corsairs. And today I'm going to uh, introduce to you um, a graphic novel series called Requiem. Yep, Requiem. And it, I've noticed that it's not getting enough recognition as it should. It's a very good series. Uh, it's about vampires and basically, oh here, basically, it is just a fantastic series. It is well written. The art is fantastic. Uh, Storyline is very interesting. It has, uh, sorry, I've just got some notes here that's to keep me right. Uh, yeah, it just has everything you'd want. Uh, it has the supernatural, it has vampires, the undead, the occult, it has blood, gore, violence, lots of violence, and lots of gore, sex, and it it just because everything you want in a comic. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't seen it much advertised. I've, I've never seen any reviews on it on YouTube. So I decided to do one because it is one. If you like comics, and if you like gore, violence, uh, horror, then you should pick this up. Uh, the storyline is quite interesting. During World War Two, a Nazi officer is caught with his Jewish girlfriend, which he is hiding. And um, during World War Two, that was a big no-no. So he is arrested. She's taken away to the concentration camps. He is sent to the Russian front, where he is shot dead and then he ends up in hell and hell here in this mythos is called resurrection and it's like a dark mirror of our earth you know it's like a negative photo you know the land masses are sea and the sea are land masses and there's a sort of a hierarchy in hell where the vampires which real body on dead and vampires are uh you know, the other guys on top, then there's other types of undead underneath. And it's also interesting, it depending on what sin you committed on earth, you know, you end up as a different type of undead. Say, well if you're a vampire and the vampires are the most evilest, you know, the real bad guys are real sons of a bitches who had no remorse these guys are basically like nazis and serial killers and the like and uh, these guys have no remorse they believed in what they were doing and they just have no remorse about they become vampires and these vampires are not like you know the twilight vampires these guys are sick sons of a bitches you know they're evil and they enjoy being evil uh they revel in it and uh they you know they don't make they don't apologize for it you know they don't want to be your friend like they, you know they just see you as meat and then other types of undead um there is uh ghouls and ghouls are a sort of um rival group of undead who want to sort of get rid of the vampires and the ghouls are sort of a type of uh they're their sin was that they sort of blamed everyone else for their, you know, you, you know, uh, their faults. You know, it's not my fault I'm doing this sin, it was somebody else, I was abused as a child, and, you know, I, you know, I'm stealing this money because somebody stole from me, that type. Uh, and then you've got other type, you've got zombies, I'm not sure what their sin is, I can't remember. You've got dragons. And their sin was that they were just consumed with greed and making money, capitalism. War wolves were, sorry my mask keeps on slipping, sorry about that. Uh, war wolves were 
religious fanatics, centaurs or rapists, harpies or um, mothers who kill their children, that type of thing. It gets into fry some dark, dark territory, but it's also a very funny read as well, you know, they just really, it, you know the two artists really um, enjoyed making this book. Ah, uh, what else did they do? Yeah, Story Nine, Hierarchy. Yeah, I'll just show some covers here. Here's uh, the first cover. Resurrection, and the first two volumes. Every one has two volumes. Now, this is a French thing, which has been translated in English. And there's the two artists up there, uh, the two guys who created it. In the French version, you only get one volume, but in the English translated version, you get two volumes in one book. So, uh, in this one, you get Resurrection and The Dance of Macabre. Uh, in this one, who is Dracula? This guy here is the hero, sort of anti hero. Can't remember his name. But compared to the other vampires, he's, he's the nicest one. But even he has some dark history. Here's the, the master of all vampires, Dracula. Uh, Dracula and the vampire ball. And there seems to be a super, a sort of supernatural, a sort of a immortal vampire. E vampires in this, if you die and go to hell when you're 40, you start getting younger and younger until you end up as a fetus. But the, there's this sort of hierarchy of really evil bastards like Dracula and um, Bafume. Nero and Caligula and uh, Genghis Khan who just stay immortal. They were that evil on earth that they're immortal. Uh, that's one of the ghouls apart. Dra Dragon Blitz and Hellfire Club. Uh, Covenant of the Sisters of Blood and the Queen of Dead Souls. It's one of his love interests I and mean, he has many. Uh, City of Parts and Bloodbath, and there's, and there's a couple more films to come out yet. Yet, uh, I'll try to leave a link to their website. They've got a website as well. It's called um, The Evil's Nest. If you just type in, I'll, I'll try to leave a link, but if I can't, all you need to do is type in um, Requiem. Uh, the Evil's Nest, The Evil's Nest, and they've got, they'll update you in the latest volumes, and they've also got a fantastic art gallery. So I'll just show you so, some of uh, the artwork inside these books. Just to show you, pretty awesome. <coughs> yeah, there we go. There is one of the bad guys. And he is, they're all bad guys in this, there's no good guys in Ah, uh, he is a fun, look at that, he is a warwolf on steroids, that is one cool looking warwolf. And, also in this, the cover art is the same as the art inside, you know in some kind of, the, the cover art is completely different. But, you, you know, you're getting, you know, you see this and you're getting the same inside, so. There's some more, and there's a lot of bloods, they like, don't shy away from violence and sex, you know, so it's a sort of an adult, it's not for kids, so, <clears throat> come on, <clears throat> you know, and there's fun for sex, you know. So if you're just interested in sex, you know, there you go. It's got something for everybody. Uh, where's the last one? And... Yeah, gore. For all you gore whores out there. So, it basically has everything. You know, it has everything. Something for everybody. So if you like horror, if you like gore, if you like the supernatural, and if you like comics, why don't you go and look it up and sh uh, and pick up a copy? You know, uh, you won't be disappointed. 
So, there you go. There's my little review. Every volume is fantastic. There's also little nods to other things like Hellboy and Iron Maiden and, and just little nudges. You know, so if you look, you'll, able, you'll be able to pick them up too. So, I hope that piques your interest. If you have any questions, ask away. I'll be happy to answer them. And whatever God you pray to, may he see your it keep you safe for a while.